Joining us this morning, Northwestern Mutual Chief Investment Officer Brent Schutte. Brent, it's great to see you again. I'm just going through some of your notes. Your neutral equities, your underweight commodities, your underweight large cap. Uh, it sounds like your, your macro view may not be the most constructive out there. No, I mean, we certainly think there's going to be a recession. Look, the economy, as Mike noted, is late in the cycle. And so, yes, we've had a disinflationary impulse that we thought we'd happen, so we were overweight equities. But now, unfortunately, we're reconnecting to a normal economy uh, at a period of time where the U.S. economy looks late in the cycle. And that's where wages, and you've mentioned the UAW, you've mentioned wages, they're still too hot. And to me, the Fed isn't going to ease the liquidity tourniquet they put on the U.S. economy until they see wages push substantially lower, which unfortunately I don't think happens unless there is a rise in the unemployment rate, which is what we typically call a, call a recession. And so uh, that's where we think there is likely to be a recession in the future, which is why we are actually overweight fixed income uh, and like that over equities and commodities. So where do you think the terminal rate goes? Look, I, I think more important is what's the end game. And to me, the end game is that there has to be a rise in the unemployment rate. Wages right now are at 4.3 percent on a year over year basis. And in the last uh, press conference, Fed Chair Powell said wages are not consistent with 2 percent inflation. Um, that's where I think this has to push back into the 3.2 to 3.5 percent range. And that is unlikely to happen unless you get uh, a large increase in labor force participation. So Mike mentioned 1995. That's where you saw a large influx of people in the labor market. And you saw a huge productivity boom. Those are two things that could happen but are probably highly unlikely. Uh, and so in that case, that's where I think you have to have a rising unemployment rate, which will cause that recession uh, to occur. Brian, one of the more interesting things that I, that I heard this morning from the Treasury Secretary is, and she said this pretty definitively, that she doesn't see any signs that there's concerns in the bond market about issuance and about the deficits and the, and the debt. And since you're long fixed income, it sounds like you're not expecting that, that either. But some are worried that that's going to keep rates persistently higher. Potentially. I mean, I don't think we're going back to where we were in 2014 to 2020, where we woke up every day and thought about deflation and low interest rates altogether. Uh, but uh, I do think you are going to have a period of time where the Fed will be cutting rates next year because there will be a recession, which will be a ballast to the fixed income markets. And at 5 percent on the Barclays aggregate, I'll, I'll take that um, in the next 6 to 12 months when I think there's a lot of economic uncertainty. Longer term, I, I do think there are um, potential issues with the U.S. debt uh, and deficits. And that's where I, I think, um, you know, perhaps 4 to 5 is the new normal for fixed income. But I think in between now and then, you get a period of time where the Fed does cut and you actually see strong returns in the fixed income markets. Brent, appreciate it. Always good to check in with you. Uh, interesting times, especially now. Uh, Brent Schutte, thanks. Thank you.